guys. It is a new week of vlogs and we are starting this week's vlogs in the Orlando airport. I just finished my three day Disney trip with my parents and I'm getting ready to fly back to Houston. So I figured I'd start this week's vlogs here at the Orlando airport. So it's been an amazing three days. Lots to show you guys coming up in uh, probably a few months because I still have September trip videos to show you. But in the meantime, if you haven't already, go here and watch the Cheap Seats vlog. I hung out with them a little bit yesterday. We went on Prime of the World and their video's already up. So make sure you watch this vlog, but then also go watch these in the Cheap Seats. I'll put a link here and do a little preview of what's coming up in a few months. But for now, I'm gonna do a little Disney shopping here at the Disney store to get one last taste of Disney before I leave and then it's time to head back home. Porgs! We didn't go to Hollywood Studios, so I didn't get to see all the Star Wars merch for the new movie. <gasps> Porgs. Ooh, there's a mystery pen set. Meh. Nah. Not really into that. What about this one? No. Not really into that either. I did get a mystery pack set that I need to open. I guess I'll open that on this week's vlog. <laughs> Look at the pork mugs. <laughs> That's hysterical. I feel like I do want a stuffed pork, but I'm not gonna get it from the airport. If I get a pork, I'm gonna get it from Hollywood Studios this fall. Hold myself off on the porgs. Wait, 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 wait. What happens? Oh, they're not set up to actually work. Oh my. Oh my. Oh yep. I feel like I'm gonna get a porg, but like I said, I'm gonna wait till I'm actually in a park. And they've got the spirit jerseys here, which I already got one. I got the rose gold one, but I'll be in a future haul someday. They have the plain ones here. Oh, those are cool. My camera doesn't want to focus on the focus. I've never seen those before. And uh, I've got Constance and the Hatbox Ghost, even though we don't have the Hatbox Ghost. Cool. I'm gonna have to get this. It's the pin packs that have the mascots. I think I'm gonna have to get this, and if I don't get the Dream Finders, I'm gonna be so upset. Some goodies for a giveaway, because I'm getting close to 3,000 subscribers, so you'll see this in a future video, hopefully soon. The good part about being in Florida, you get Cuban bread for breakfast at the airport. Mm, Cuban bread toast, a little bit of butter in there. A lot, it's bigger than I was expecting, but, but I'm pretty excited for it. I'll probably eat half of it and take the other half with me. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Cause every time We have landed, heading out for Mike to come pick me up. We came to Chewy's for lunch. I forgot to explain it, I forgot to vlog it, but here's my half-eaten salad. <laughs> I'll eat dip. Half-eaten salad. Hi, I'm home. I am home. I'm home. Hi. Hello. Oh, jeez. Oh, the energy. The energy is too high right now. And then just like that. The excitement of mom being home is over. <laughs> over so fast. Hi, crazy bear. Hi. Enjoy your nap. I missed you. Okay, so this just arrived. This is Stitch Fix. I saw Kaylee do a video on it and she had a coupon code, so I figured I would try it and see if this is actually something I would like at all. And also curious to see 
uh, what items they would send and see what the cost is. Cost is definitely gonna be a determining factor for me because I don't like to spend a ton of money on clothes. So let's see what they sent me as Colby squeaks in the background. What are you doing back there, little boy? Mama's trying to film a video, you know? Squeaky pants. Well, now you're done, of course. So you try the five items, decide if you like them. If you like them, then you pay for them. If not, you just ship them all back. And the deal with the coupon code was that I didn't have to pay the fee that normally you pay to receive this. So I went ahead and set it up so that I'm not getting charged for anything else and just wanted to kind of try it out once while it was free. So here we go, let's see what's inside. Okay, so the first item was this bracelet. And I need to look at the prices. I haven't looked at the prices yet, I've just looked at the items. So we're gonna look at the items first. This bracelet, bangle, it kind of opens this way. I'm pretty mad on that. I'm not really huge into bracelets, so that will definitely be going back. Okay, so the first item was this sweater. And I just looked up the prices. This one is $50. Uh, this was definitely my favorite thing in the box, and I'm going to try it on and see what I think. I think it is worth $50. It's an actual real sweater. It seems very nicely made. So I will put it on and see what I think. I liked this purple. It's long sleeves. I'm, like I said, I'm going to try these on, so I'll show you when I try them on. But this purple long sleeve I like just based on looks and feel. However, it's $48, and I don't know that this one is worth just $2 less than this because it's pretty, you know, just plain sweater. This is more, I think, like a work top. Um, I kind of like it. I'm not, like, in love with it. This one is $38. Um, again, I'll try it on and we'll see. And then there are these track pants that are a definite no for me, but I'm going to try them on anyway. They are also $50 and just, just no. Okay, so obviously I'm not styling the underneath. This is just the shirt I was wearing before. But here is the sweater. Um, now that I have it on... Uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be a little too itchy for me. Uh, sometimes wool does skeeve me out on how itchy it is. And for $50, I think I'm gonna let this one go just because I don't think I'll end up wearing it because it'll be too itchy for me. So, well dang. <laughs> I actually really like this one. Purple's my favorite color. It's super comfy. It's got that like nice comfy sweater vibe. And I actually really like it. Since I'm not keeping the other one, I might decide to keep this one. Hmm, it's pretty comfy and I love purple and I think it looks pretty on me. So, I think I might keep this one, y'all. So here is the kind of more work top, I would say. And it's fine. Meh. The pattern's not, I really like the, I mean, I like this cut of top. And I like this little pleat. I think it's flattering. I'm just not, this print is not, this print is not doing it for me. So it fits well. So at least the random survey they had me fill out online as far as sizes go worked out because everything is fit. But yeah, I'm going to let this one go. And just for the sake of saying I did it. Here are the track pants. And definitely not my thing, especially not for $50. So yeah, these are, these are going right back. Doing one more unboxing for tonight. I actually got two of these little mystery packs from the Kingdom of Cute. I'm going to just open one for tonight because I can't wait any longer. But I'm going to save the other one so I have something to look forward to later in the week. So, let's see what I got. Troll life. Yay! Hashtag troll life. All right, Barry's about to die. Let's see. Can I get through this first? First one is... Aww. Need a jungle cruise boat. Need a jungle cruise boat. Doo -doo. Adorable. Get through the second one. Through the second one. What are you? Yes, little Han Mansion gargoyle. So cute. I mean, I knew this pack was gonna be awesome because every single one of them is adorable. So very excited with my first pack, and I will open the other one sometime later this week. Yay! It 
work today and I think it's funny you can tell it's been really cold lately when it's 48 degrees and I'm just wearing a sweater and didn't even feel the need to put on a jacket because I've gotten so used to how cold it was the previous week that this feels warm <laughs> so uh, headed into work Gonna be, it's gonna be hard to go into work when I only worked a day and a half last week and then I was just at Disney, so I've got post Disney blues, but we're gonna make the best of it. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. Yesterday was a crazy day, so I didn't end up vlogging anything because I ended up staying at work until about 6.30. So I didn't vlog anything last night because I didn't make dinner or anything. I just basically came home and had a snack and relaxed until it was time to go to bed. So today is picture day at work. We're getting our new like headshots done and everything. So I had to get all snazzy for that. And uh, that's about it. So I will see you guys after work. The work day is over. Today was a much better day, much less stressful than yesterday. Yesterday was just a crazy day, lots going on. Today was much more calm. So I am leaving work and heading to the grocery store because I haven't been to the grocery store in a while. So we are down to pretty much the bare minimum in our cupboard and we need some food and we have plated type meals but we just don't have anything else in the house so Mike's has just been starving during the day so I'm going to the grocery store going to the P.O. box all that good stuff and then uh, heading home to relax with the family by the P.O. box hashtag troll life hashtag troll life <laughs> pointing to the card <laughs> went to the P.O. box says Vanna White no no hi Means you want to be on camera, right? Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. I'm a ham. <laughs> You're a hand model? Ham. No, ham. No. <laughs> You're a hand model. I'm like David Duchovny. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go away. So we got two last minute Christmas cards at the P.O. Box today. Obviously, it's been a while since I've been there. So, from the Sanders family, I definitely know them. I was looking forward to seeing a card from you guys this year. We got one from you last year. Super cute. Looks like you guys had a lot of fun at Universal this year. I love it. And this awesome card came from Sarah, who I definitely know because we talk all the time. She wrote me a really nice letter that I'll just keep between us. But then I love that she wrote, and Colby Bear. <laughs> she got your full name, Colby. <laughs> Colby's clearly very interested in this right now. He's been running around ever since I got home and now he's just tuckered out. But not Bean. Bean has all the energy these days, don't you bud? You're so happy. You guys so much energy now. Yeah. But not only did she send a really nice letter, she also sent a little something from her very first Comic Con. And I already looked. I couldn't I couldn't wait. But look at this adorable little BB-8 print and she had the artist sign it. It's so, so cute. I love it. It's totally going to go in my office with all my other Star Wars goodies upstairs. So thank you guys for the Christmas card. I apologize for it being almost the end of January before I finally opened them. But thank you very much. Happy New Year to you guys. I still have not sent cards back to anyone in the UK. I need to do that. That needs to go on my to-do list. So everyone from the UK, I still love you. I just need to actually get on <laughs> sending those cards. Related Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you guys. Hey guys, it is Thursday on my way into work. And I just have to gush about last night's X-Files episode because it was so good. We're on episode four of the new season. Episode one, I did not care for at all, but the last three I have loved and last night, Last night's episode, I'm pretty sure, goes into my favorites of all time list. It was hysterical. Darren Morgan episodes are always really funny and typically some of my favorites, but he outdid himself on that one. It was so, so good. So many jokes. So just self-aware and hysterical at poking fun at X-Files themselves. I absolutely loved it. And if I don't like the series finale, that Chris Carter wrote that I'm claiming that one as the series finale because it was amazing. When the first episode happened I was having some regrets like oh I kind of wish they hadn't brought it back because this is pretty bad but the past three episodes have been so good that I'm so glad to have them to be able to rewatch and kind of add to the X-Files canon 
and pretty sure this is going to be it because I think Jillian Anderson said she is done. So if this is how it's going out, I'm really happy with it. Thursday evening now and I am actually on my way to go get my hair done. Get the hair did. So as you can tell, I think pretty well in this lighting. All the red has faded out into some of it is kind of like light brown and some of it has a slight pink tint to it. So my intent today, although this did turn out kind of pretty, this kind of rose goldy color, my goal for today is to get the pink out and to go back to a more natural color. I wouldn't mind it if it's kind of this brown color without the pink in it. So we'll see what she can do, what she wants to do, but no more red this time. We're going back to natural for the winter spring. So that's the plan. We'll see what happens. What? Tell me all about it. How was your day? How was your day? Have they been annoying all day? Yeah. Is it tough? Is it tough being you? Is it tough being Ash? I'm sorry. I'm sorry it took so long to get home. Are you no longer mad at me? Are we okay now? Are we good now? Okay. What are they doing in there? What are they doing in here? Are they showing off for me? Oh yeah. You're so manly. I'm so impressed by all of them. Oh boy. Oh boy. Everyone's crazy. Well, I'm home. <laughs> my hair's done and they're crazy. It took like two and a half hours to do my hair, but we'll talk about that more later. Oh my gosh. Foster. Don't get pissed because you lost. Hi. Jeez. I'll show you guys and some natural lighting tomorrow. But we basically just tried to take it back to a more natural brown. It's about one shade lighter than my natural color. All of this is natural. Our first attempt at it, uh, she tried to just dye over because she thought it might be light enough on the pink that she could just dye over it. And that didn't work. <laughs> so it ended up being about two and a half hours because she tried it that way and she's like, nope. <laughs> so we had to bleach to lift the color. And then she dyed it again. And there's maybe a little tint of it left. She said it might still be a little bit, but I don't, to me it looks good. So I'm happy with it. I'll show you guys again tomorrow in the natural lighting, but yay, I'm a brunette again. <laughs> so I was ready to be back just to a more natural brunette look after about a year and a half of having different colors at the ends. So this is my first, first step. Going back a little more now. It's basically 8 o'clock when I got home from getting my hair done, so we came out to Mod Pizza. I got Italian sausage, pineapple, garlic, oregano, no, oregano, basil, red sauce this time, and she did a lot of extra cheese on there today. Now Mike got the Mega Mod, which is our new pizza. We're gonna see his. It's double the crust. This is like a thin crust. His is gonna be mega. Alright, not gonna lie, I have a little bit of pizza envy right now. There's the Mega. That looks really dang good. So you can see like how much more crust his has versus mine. Mine is a little thin crust, which is definitely healthier. However, that looks awesome. A little bit jelly. Super exciting. We got to save the date in the mail. Save the date. Another wedding to go to in uh, 2019. So if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, way back in the day, probably like 2015, I went on a cruise, and I can link to that video, but I went on a bachelorette cruise for my friend Amanda, and she got married in May 2015, and I was bridesmaid, and her sister was a bridesmaid. So her sister and I ended up being roommates on the cruise, and we'd already met each other a few times, but we really bonded on the cruise. We became really good friends during the cruise, and we really enjoyed each other's company, so we've stayed friends this whole time, and that's her wedding. So now she's getting married and I get invited to that wedding. So it'll be really fun because I love, obviously, her sister's one of my best friends from college. And I'm really good friends with her. I love their parents. Like their parents are just awesome people. So I'm excited. Actually in my September vlogs, eventually you'll see, I went to dinner with her and her fiance one of the nights I was there. I mentioned in the first vlog of that trip that my friend Ashley was supposed to come hang with me at the, the pool and it didn't end up happening because I was sick. And that was her. So, so funny, just this past weekend, Michael, my parents and I were walking out Epcot and I heard someone yell, Liz! 
and I looked over and it was Jim and Ashley. <laughs> they were on their way into dinner in France because they live in Orlando and we just happened to see them while we were there. So I just saw them this past weekend and excited to get to see them get married next year. Good morning, Colby. <laughs> is, is he dead? Oh, he moved. He's not dead. Good morning. Good morning, pupper. You are so derpy, and I love you. All right, I have to go to work. Bye, Colby. Bye. Bye, Colby. I'm leaving you. Okay, bye. Wow, okay. Oh, there he is. Goodbye. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Stretch. Goodbye, cutie. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. So, hello. Here is my new brunette hair in daylight way back to more natural color and it looks really pretty it was a lot of work to get the pink out but i think it was worth it so i'm out and about on my lunch break today i heard from a co-worker they opened this place called jeffrey's bargain box of toys uh the toys r us closest to us flooded during hurricane harvey and instead of like completely reopening it they created this jeffrey's bargain box of toys just to get through christmas season and now I'm hearing Toys R Us is like going bankrupt or whatever. So this Toys R Us may never reopen. Um, but they at least filled it with this bargain box of toys for Christmas. And I guess it's like an outlet. So she said they had like a ton of Tsum Tsum stuff and Star Wars stuff. So I'm coming in here to see what's on sale. She said they had like Tsum Tsums for 50 cents. So I'm very curious. And I am currently, as of this moment, three subscribers away from 3,000. So I figured I might go see what they have see what like awesome Tsum Tsum or Disney or Star Wars stuff they have. Maybe buy for myself, but also maybe buy for a giveaway for the channel. So uh, we'll see what I have left. I think this place is closing this weekend. So now that Christmas season's over. So let's go see what's left. They just slapped a banner on top of Toys R Us and it's uh, time to go investigate. Definitely down to like the last items. Like it's like completely empty in here, but there's a couple racks here. Let's see if there's anything good left. Okay, so they're definitely down to slim pickings since they're only open for two more days. However, I got a ton of stuff for only $20. Uh, all the Tsum Tsums were Marvel related. Well, yeah, I think it was all Marvel. Um, so I'll show you guys when I actually do the giveaway video. However, I got a bunch of different Marvel mystery bags and some Marvel Tsum Tsum packs and all kinds of that good stuff. And then they also had these, which I'd never seen before. They had them as $3.98, but then they were 75% off. So I got a bunch of these. I'm going to go ahead and open one now. I got some, as far as these goes, I got some for me and some to give away. So I've never seen these before. So I wanted to go ahead and open and see what it's like. Um, but the mystery items I'm going to send out, I'm not going to open them. So whenever I do the giveaway, it will be a true mystery bag item so that you guys get to open and see what you get. So let's see who I get for this first one and see what it looks like and see if it's cute or if it's kind of dorky. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Smart on these and made it so that you can't feel up the bag because it's like in a tray. So I couldn't feel up to see who I'm getting. So let's see who it is. Oh, it's, wait, what? Oh, and it's a bag. It's a mystery bag and it's within a mystery bag. Hold on a second. Logger fail. I dumped it out and wasn't recording, but I got Mickey. For the record, I do not think this was in any way worth the $4 they were originally charging for it, but a dollar, yes. <laughs> it was definitely worth a dollar, and it's worth a dollar experience of opening it because it's fun to see who you get. So here's the uh, first series everyone you can get. It's kind of a random mixture. Like, how do you get Toy Story, the like original Fab Five, and Lion King just thrown together? But well, hopefully you guys get a dollar's worth of enjoyment out of opening, out of whoever whoever wins the giveaway. So that'll be coming up soon, hopefully. Three more to go. Okay, so I'm home from work and I'm actually going to make dinner tonight. So I'm making a plated recipe. It is Italian sausage burgers with mozzarella and roasted red pepper aioli. So we need to see how our veggies are doing because this arrived last Saturday and see if everything is still good, but that should be the plan for tonight. So my usually very reliable toaster oven tried to tried to burn the buns today, <laughs> but otherwise it looks really good. Some mozzarella cheese on there, red pepper aioli, pepperoncinis, and a salad. Looks good. Well, I just got tweets 
that I hit 3,000 subscribers. I don't want to celebrate too soon because the way YouTube goes, I go up three and go down three sometimes. So uh, I don't want to have like full celebration yet, but it did happen. I did hit 3,000. We'll see how long it lasts. I'll have a full celebration once I'm at like 3,005 or something. <laughs> But yay, 3K! So I'm watching Real Housewives in New Jersey, but look at this dog. Look how ridiculous he is. He just, this is how he lays. This is how he's comfortable. <laughs> oh, he cracks me up. I'm watching more Felicity. We're in season two. The haircut already happened. No way. Oh, you gel. Oh, 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 also, I'm watching the really weird Twilight Zone episode of Felicity. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the tribute to the Twilight Zone, but I forgot how weird it is. <laughs> She's like in the middle of a season. It's not Halloween. There's no explanation for it. Just really weird. Just in the middle of the season. Everything was going around normal. And then boop, Twilight Zone episode. <laughs> oh goodness, JJ Abrams. What were you doing? Okay, I'm mostly recovered, but I'm still really emotional. I just watched This Is Us. <laughs> this is what This Is Us does to you. <sighs> I don't want to say anything in case people haven't watched yet. Spoilers! Yeah, spoilers. Hashtag spoilers. Oh, God. I'm so emotional. <laughs> it's bad enough that, the, that I already loved Milo, and now, of course, Milo being the main Jack character. Watching. <sighs> you know, you know, like, from early on that he dies, and we're finding out... We found out this week how he dies, and then I guess next week's episode right after the Super Bowl, he's going to die. And I'm not prepared. I'm so not emotionally prepared, and I've just been sitting here sobbing, watching the episode of how he died. <sighs> the show, it's so good at tugging your heartstrings. What do you think, Foster? Are you traumatized? I know I said, are you? <laughs> any, any phrase that starts with that, you're very intrigued by. Are you ready for more snuggles? Are you... Oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not actually going to... You're not actually getting more food. Ever since he's been on his uh, new little pills, he's even more food motivated than he was before because now he actually has a metabolism to burn through all the calories. But you're all soft again. You got all your fur coming back. It's very exciting. Right, Bean? Oh. That was a humongous dog burp. I'm going to stop patting his stomach now. Uh, on that note, I think, I think he made me stop crying. So there is that at least. Thank you for that, Bean. <laughs> Thank you. I am going to sign off for the week. I'm going to probably watch something more lighthearted. Find some comedy to watch to uh, recover from that emotional strain. <laughs> and uh, sign off for Friday night, so. You don't want, oh, okay, then. oh, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.